You don't have to be a grown-up to give back. I'm meeting up with a 10-year-old who's doing something sweet for charities, one cookie at a time. Hey Brittany, I'm Felix. Ready to be my assistant? I'm ready. I started making cookies when I was six years old. It was my grandma's recipe. My grandma was a very kind person. She would always put other people before herself. Felix's grandma, Tony, passed away in 2010. When his school announced the annual craft fair that same year, he knew exactly what he wanted to sell. My grandma loved giving back to people, so one of the ways I hooked my mom into doing this was I said to her, any money that we would raise, we're gonna give it all to charity. Felix sold out of the cookies that day and for the next two years. Business owners were calling us, where can we buy these cookies? That's when my mom and I had our, that aha moment that we should start making a business. I'm the youngest Hispanic CEO in the state of Illinois. I've always been a businessman. A businessman dedicated to giving back. Felix donates a portion of all proceeds to a different charity each month. I don't want to just help one kind of cause. We're going to help all different kinds. Whether it's feeding the hungry or give shelter to the homeless. The best part is I get to share a piece of my grandma with everybody. What type of cookies are we making today? It's a Mexican tea cookie. Pan de polvo. Pan de polvo. Yeah. Some of the Latino people, they'll say that this is just like the cookies they had back in Mexico, or that's exactly like what their grandma made. Grandma Tony's legacy lives on with each cookie and donation Felix makes in her memory. It's important for me to give back. I'm fortunate enough to have all this stuff and some people aren't, and we're trying to get them one step closer to having what I have now. Even though his name's followed by three important letters, at the end of the day, Felix is still a kid at heart. Are you sneaking cookies? Yes. Uh-huh, your, your mouth's full! With our cookies done, you are the man. The coolest CEO I know. It's time for me to meet up with Laura from Lake County Haven, one of the charities that's benefited from Felix's famous cookies. Tell me a little bit about your organization and what you guys do. Well, the Lake County Haven provides shelter and services to homeless women and children. What did you think when you got a phone call from a 10-year-old <laughs> saying that he wanted to help donate to your charity? For the women and children, I think what means the most to them is when we tell them where the cookies come from. It's very impressive to uh, see somebody so young who has uh, such a big heart. A 10-year-old bringing everyone together it really is amazing. So for people, too, that would like to know more about Lake County Haven, where can they go and find information. The best place is to go to our website which is lakecountyhaven.org. And for you guys at home if you'd like to learn more about Felix's famous cookies and the charities that they've helped along the way make sure you check out the link below.